Thank you for joining City Sailing Tutorials. Uh, this is part of a group of videos on weather systems. Please watch the others. Um, this one is about weather systems, high and low pressures. Just to recap a little bit, when warm air heats up, it rises. So warm air rises, then as it cools, it then sinks. And we call this the bonfire principle. So if you have a bonfire, you look at the top, you can see all the smoke rising and the ash going up with it. And you can actually see the hot air rising and then sinking and filling up the gap where the hot air has come from. And also another proof of this principle is hot air balloons. So they heat up the air inside the balloon, the hot air rises and it pulls the weight of the balloon, the basket and the people up. So this is hot air rising over the docks in London. The other principle is warm air holds more moisture than cold air. If you refer back to our previous tutorials, um, we made a cloud and we did an experiment making rain and we did an experiment with a cold bottle showing warm air holds more moisture than cold air. And we also looked under the global weather that as the earth rotates and we get the heating on the equator, it produces bands or cells of weather. Where we are, we would expect either high pressure systems or low pressure systems. And that really depends on where the jet streams are at the moment. During the summer, um, we expect to see more high pressure systems, which gives us nicer weather. And in the winter, more low pressure systems. So let's look at the high pressure systems, sometimes known as anticyclones. So in a high pressure system, we experience high pressure on the ground and that's produced by the air sinking. So as it sinks, it produces a higher pressure. As it sinks, clouds don't form and we get nice clear skies. What will we see in the summer? Well, in the summer, we'd have fine weather, light winds, moderate visibility and sunny. So those, those lovely sunny days for sailing, nice wind, no cloud, lots of sunshine, beautiful sailing weather, champagne sailing. In the winter, we'd get cloudless skies, low temperature, moderate visibility, and a frost. And the reason for that is there's no cloud covering. So if you imagine cloud is like your duvet on your bed, um, sleep without a duvet during the night, you get cold during the night. So the cloud doesn't have a duvet. In the winter, with a high pressure system or anticyclonic system, um, there's nothing holding the temperature in. All the uh, heat comes out of the land, and then we'll experience a frost. Then during the day, we get a little bit of heat, from the sun um, but as soon as the sun goes we'll feel cold quite quickly at the bottom the, the air sinks and it comes out so the air diverges so it comes down it sinks and it comes out so if we look at it on the surface air will circulate clockwise in the northern hemisphere and it will come out of a high pressure system so if we draw a line on the circles there, the circles are lines of equal pressure, which are called isobars. If we draw a line, come out about 20 degrees. So on average, the air will come out about 20 degrees from the isobar. <clears throat> so that's a high pressure system. The wind blows slightly out. And light winds in the center. So if we look at the center, there's a big gap between the isobars. So light winds in the center. And as we get away from the higher pressure, stronger away from the center. And as we can see from this satellite picture, the center of the high is based over the Bay of Biscay. It will give us fair or fine weather. So from this picture, not a lot of cloud cover um, and clear sky. Beautiful sailing day. So large highs are usually slow moving. So you get the air sinking down. It will stay in one place. The jet stream will stay in one place and it will stick around uh, for some time. So in the summer, we'll get hazy with moderate to poor visibility. And same again in the winter. We'll get fair weather or fine weather cumulus. Cumulus is the fluffy cloud. Now let's talk about low pressure systems. So what happens in a low pressure system is the air is going up. So it's like a bonfire in the middle. Um, the air is going up. So if we look at it, the air coming up, so it's rising um, at the base level. The air is converging, so it's going round anticlockwise, and it's going up, and it's rising, and it produces clouds at the top. So at the base level, the air is going in at about 20 degrees to the isobars. And yeah, blows slightly inward, about 20 degrees to the isobars, and it gives rain and unstable weather. 
and stronger winds in the middle. And they're usually quite fast moving. So here's the center of the low here. As we looked at the video with the global, they'll be tracking on the jet streams and they usually come from America across to us. So they will come from the west, travel easterly and come towards us. An extreme version is a hurricane. A local version is a tornado or on the water, a water spout. We talked about high and low pressures. On our next video, we're going to talk about frontal systems, uh, which is what we experience around the UK. It's when the warm air and the cold air meet. So join us for the next video on frontal systems. Uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Paul, City Sailing, out.